So I just started to get out of my bag and then I hear this splash, 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 and I know right away it's a moose. So I take the shot, kept shooting until he finally went down. And sure enough, he uh, expired here in the water. And now we can harvest the moose for my family. Um, I know we did eight days and we did it hardcore, no fires, watched our scent for the most part, traveled around, hiked into places, got to sleep in this beautiful place last night, and now we get to harvest the moose. Now we got this big moose right on the, on the edge of the river. We're gonna pull it up, um, and now we're gonna learn how to actually cut up the moose. We come out here, and yeah, sure, it's a, it's you know, yeah, it's a beautiful moose that just got killed, but it also lived a free life, and now it's gonna feed a family for a whole year. The other one should roll with it. But you have to look at it from that perspective, and a lot better than being in a factory farm pumped with antibiotics and forced dead. I did the tobacco sacrifice because I feel I should sacrifice something back. I mean, look what, you know, the river and Mother Nature gave me is this big, beautiful animal, probably 400 pounds of meat. And it's, it's a give and take with nature. It's always give and take, give and take, give and take. You can't keep taking, taking, taking and never give anything back. Gas being released? Yeah. Take the hind quarter, front quarter, all the remnants, and then we'll try and uh, separate the head from the body. Take all the neck meat too, because there'll be a lot of neck meat. And then uh, that's it. We pack up and get out of here. Take our moose back and put my wife to work. Mixed emotions seeing a large animal like that taken down. But as a meat eater, you know, I feel much more connected to the land seeing that whole process than going to a grocery store. And now I know how to do it. Now I know how to shoot a moose, hunt a moose, um, gut one in the field and take it out. And those are skills that I may never need again, but I may need. And I'm glad that I have learned how to do that. I'm excited to get out of here, but sad to go too.